Hello everyone, Linda Israel, and this is our first page in our Canvas Corp Brands Workshop Junk Journal 101. We're going to use the Black Check Flower on White. We're going to use the Architectures Stash Pack. We've got a journal card that is approximately three and a half by five inches. And then we have a piece of corrugated that is three inches by four inches. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to trim off the name of this using our paper trimmer. So any paper trimmer will work, just whatever is convenient for you. The next thing what we're going to do is we're going to trim off four inches across the bottom. So I'm going to go to the eight inch mark because that's how tall my page is going to be. And I'm going to trim off four inches off the bottom. Then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to cut it in half so that it is six inches in size. So now we have two pieces that are four by six and then we have a 12 by eight piece. Next what we're going to do is I take this and I'm going to fold it in half and then what I'm going to do is open this up and then fold in about two inches in and crease that down and then turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. So now we have a page that looks like this. All right, so now we're going to take our tacky glue, whatever your favorite glue. You can also use tape if that makes you happy. I'm going to put a little line, little line right here and a little line down here and then fold that over. And I find that sometimes glue takes a moment to stick, so I'm going to take a paper clip and just slide it over that edge. I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to repeat this process of putting glue across the top and the bottom. Fold that over. I'm going to use my paper clip to hold it in place until that glue is dry. I want to make this into a tag shape. So since I have my cutting mat below me here that has one inch grid marks, I'm gonna turn this over so I can see the back side. And I'm gonna take a pen and I'm gonna mark where that one inch mark is in the corner. And then take a pair of scissors and I've got both cards stacked. And I'm gonna cut across diagonally. I'm gonna grab that little piece that I just cut off and put it on this side to use as a guide to cut these corner pieces off. So now I have two little tags that are going to fit into the pockets here and here. We're gonna put a pocket on the front here and I think I need to trim this because I folded my edge over too far. So let's see how much this needs to be. So we're gonna go right at four inches. I think mine was four and a quarter because it was left over from another project. All right, so that will fit on here now. So I'm gonna remove my paper clip so that it's not in my way. And we're gonna put some adhesive on here. We're gonna put it on three sides to make this a pocket. So down the sides, cross the bottom, like so. Place that here on this piece. We're gonna dig through our sticker pack, our little collage pieces. And I think I want, I want this one. It says, go on an adventure. So I'm gonna trim this out. And these are cardstock weight. Some of these are just stickers. So it's kind of a neat piece to have. And we're gonna glue this completely down on top of the corrugated, like so. We've got this little journal card. Now, for the purpose of this workshop, we're not using distressed inks. We're just using basic supplies to make a junk journal. If you have distressed inks and you want to apply those, you can. But for the purpose of this workshop, we're not using distressed inks. So I'm going to go into the sticker portion of this. And I like this little label piece. So I'm going to peel it up like so. And we're going to place it across the top of this journal card, almost at the halfway of the sticker. Press that in place and then fold it over to the other side. So now we have a little decorative touch on both sides. And then this will fit in our pocket 
on the front. Remove our paper clips and now you see we have a journal spot here on the front. You open it up and we have these two little journal tags on the inside and then here is the back side. So you could add photos, you can add more journaling on top of that, whatever you like. All right, well, that was the first page. Let's stay tuned for the next pages. If you like this, let me know. If you have any comments, please ask or questions. You know, do ask. I want to help you be able to understand and make this journal. All right, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit subscribe. All right, let's go to the next one. Thanks, bye.